Okay, so let's take a look at the dissection of the USB mice and um, this might be pretty familiar to lots of people who've taken the stuff apart before but as always I try and include a few tricks that I've picked up over the years. So if we take the first one which is the uh, basically the corded USB mouse and let's say you're looking around wondering how this thing was even put together it might be that it was snap fit together in which case you'd have to take a screwdriver and poke around this edge till you find something that allows it to release gently um, however in this case you kinda get good at looking for these things especially if you've designed them yourself uh, in the past where you try and cover up things like screw holes so that visually and also so that people don't tamper with them so usually under these little foot pads you'll find that if you peel that off you you find out where the screws are so also another little trick I quite like to use is uh, I take a post-it note upside down so that the sticky side is up and that allows me to put screws on it and then also label them in the order I took things apart and for things like this it's obviously pretty straightforward um, but if you're taking apart a laptop or something pretty pretty complicated it's quite helpful to keep track of all the screws especially if you don't mix up the long and short ones and then find you drive it through a piece of plastic and break something so anyway carrying on if we this particular design is pretty easy in that we just lift up the back like that and pull it away and so we can see we've got the cable run here and uh, this is something that's a nice thing to do in any work you are doing which is allow the cable to be braced so that even if I pulled on this it wouldn't damage the internals so if we just lift that out for now you might need a little pair of pliers to gently and I stress gently remove it that'll make it a bit easier for us to deal with and in this particular design the PCB just comes away very simply like that so if we put those aside for later and we'll come back to sort of how to take that apart in more detail. If you did want to take apart something like this, which is actually held by four snap fits, that's generally too much for your fingers to, and hands to pull apart all at the same time. So what I've got here is uh, a little collection of chopped up bits of um, hacksaw blade, and I've filed the edge a little bit to make them pointy, and it means I can slide them into the snap fit details so that they push it apart like so and this basically means I don't have to apply all this force to four places all at once which is obviously pretty difficult and again you'll need to still use a little bit of force with your fingers but now it is, it's considerably easier for me to just grab that and then pull away obviously being careful of them flying away like that when they do. So we take those back out and it's just a good little thing to keep in a little jar somewhere for later. So that separated those nicely and again for something like this it really doesn't matter because we're essentially destroying the outer case and we're not going to need it but if you did want to put something back together that's a really useful tip to have. So continuing on with this one, same trick again just these little pads if you look underneath them you'll find that that's where the screws are, are buried and it's worth noting uh, a few things like there's a little on off switch here and having a bit of a look at how the batteries and the, the USB dongle are stored it's quite a nice feature even for a, quite a cheap mouse like this um, and again I've already removed the screws for ease and this pulls away so you can do pretty much the same thing, although I suspect as this is such a cheap product that it will probably just snap away quite simply, and it does like that, without any real distress to it. So again, taking a bit of care, you might find that the PCB in this case is screwed together. And again, a magnetic screwdriver is always handy for these sorts of things. And so we're keeping those over there. And as you see, that allows us now to remove the PCB. And that's pretty much, you know, us ready to roll for the next part. And we can look at how we're going to chop up all these components and reposition them in the mouse.